And this morning, as COVID cases and hospitalizations surge, the CDC is bracing for stress on the health care system. And it has many wondering about the benefits and the drawbacks of yet another booster shot. Beth Rousseau joining us now live this morning. Beth, when, this, uh, when could this fourth shot become a reality? Yeah, there's a whole lot of questions about this. Now, the CDC says for this severely immunocompromised, it could come this week. We talked to a local doctor, though, who says that for everybody else, they shouldn't be planning on heading to their pharmacy or getting that fourth booster shot for quite some time. The coronavirus is working its way through more and more Floridians. I did get Delta. It does like it is not good. The CDC is bracing for stress on the healthcare system as COVID cases and hospitalizations surge. It has many wondering if a fourth shot is the best bet to avoid the virus. That's a little bit too much because, you know, as we go through, how many times are we going to boost, right? Overactivating your immune system is not great either. Dr. Michael Tang with USF Health doesn't think the CDC will recommend an additional vaccine dose anytime soon. 76 million already have a booster, according to the agency. They say right now 98% of new infections in the U.S. are Omicron. Just keeping on getting more and more boosting, it's not always useful. Leaders with Pfizer and Moderna are working on a fourth Omicron specific booster. Dr. Tang says if the next strain of the virus is derived from Omicron, a specialized shot will be important. We're not at a point where we need to change the vaccine, the vaccine strain. Pfizer says that regardless of whether or not it will be needed or used, they're hoping to have that fourth Omicron specific shot done by March. We're reaching out to Moderna to see when their shot will be done. As soon as we hear back, we'll bring it to you here on air and on the WFLA app. We're live in Tampa this morning. Beth Russo, eight on your side.